good youtube it's your boy quinn way aka quinn dw 20 you're coming to the quick video i'm about to do a video up on the charlotte bobcats what to expect let me run down the numbers i'm gonna make this video quick the number says they 97th in points in points allowed they allowed 97 points per game and that was fourth for defense one thing you do have to know about the Charlotte Bobcats, that doesn't mean they're an amazing basketball team defensively. They do got good defenders, but they do play at a slow pace. They don't run up and down. They give it to Al Jefferson and do some pick and roll and shit. They're a slow team, so they defense ain't like amazing like Indiana or the Memphis Grizzlies. It's just that they play at a slow, slow pace offensively so you ain't gonna be able to score a lot of points on them because they a slow team offensively and they milk the clock a lot so they defense is good but it's more or less because they're a slow team defensively i mean offensively assist per game this is a crazy stat for uh charlotte bobcats because they average 21.7 assists per game it's more or less because they don't have that many scores. Michael Kidd, Gilchrist is not the best scorer. We know that. Then you have a weak bench. Then you have uh, Mac Roberts, who's not that good offensively, amazingly. Then you just have Al Jefferson. Then you got an inconsistent Kimball Walker who struggles offensively and struggles with a jump shot consistently. So then you got Gerald Henderson, who's more or less like a bench warmer, but he's starting because they ain't got nobody better. So they have they assist gonna be low because they don't have that many scores and that much consistency. So when you pass to them, they not knocking down shots anyway. And if you pass to them like Al Jefferson in the post, he don't really got nobody just knocking down the shots and scoring or creating for other people. And like I said, Kim Walker, which I made a video about him, ain't the best point guard in the league. He's not even top 10, probably not even top 12. And rebounds. This is a good one. Rebounds per game, they have 42.7. Put them at the middle of the pack with 16 overall. Rebounds per game, I'm not surprised again because the only good rebounder they really had was Al Jefferson. And like I said, group, re group rebounding wise, they did good. To be 16th with only one dominant rebounder is not that bad. That's a decent stat for them as they improve. And I'm going to talk about that rebound stat later. And points per game, 96.9. 23rd is horrible. They're not the best offensive team. Like I said, they don't really have that many weapons offensively besides Al Jefferson. Kimball Walker, Gerald Hinder are inconsistent. They're not really that much of a threat offensively. Then you have to put into you got to put in perspective that Michael Kidd Grookers really doesn't do anything offensively. Then you got Josh, you got Mick Roberts who don't really do nothing that much amazing either. But let's talk about what to expect from them this year since they have improvements to me. They got a two way player in Lance Stevenson and then a two way player and then Noah Vonley, which is an upgrade over Josh Roberts. He a mid range scorer. He can shoot the three. He can finish in the paint. He has some post moves, and he has some good defense for a, for a rookie. And he's going to be on the rookie contract, so they don't have Noah Vonley for some years. And they should help him and Al Jefferson. He should develop quickly. And with Lance Stevenson, they got an all-around player that can score and play defense and pass and have a three ball. He's an all-around player. He's young. And on top of that, he's a playmaker, which is going to help their assists go up. Because he's actually, him and Noah Vonley are actually threats on offense and on defense. So their defense is going to improve more. And offensively, they actually got more floor spacing. Because Kia Gurkas and Gerald Henderson, like I said, ain't that much of a floor space. Or in, uh, what's his name again? Kimball Walker is not really floor spacing because they ain't that shooting wise is inconsistent. Lance Stevenson gets you a decent score in the paint, a decent shooter. Like I said, he's a good three point shooter, a good mid range shooter. He has a good ball handling, so he can create on the offense for the team, just like Kimba Walker can. He got good ball handling. He can create for other people. This going, but the upgrade of Noah Vonley and Lance Stevenson gonna give you better floor spacing, 
and it's going to give you better playmaking because you have more people that can put the ball in a basket. And that will lead to better assist numbers and better scoring numbers because you have more weapons on the court. So they were proven that way. And they added Len Stevenson, who's an attacker. He's a weapon. He can score. He can playmate. And he's going to up their rebounding. Because, like I said, they don't have one elite rebounder. And Lance Stevenson rebounded with David West, Roy Hibbert, and Paul George, who all are good rebounders. And he still got a heavy number of, sit, um, of rebounds just playing for a good rebounding team already in Indiana. So he's going to come in here and add better rebounding. Their assist number is going to go up. Their rebounding is going to go up. And their assist number is going to, and their scoring number is going to go up. Just by the upgrade of Lance Stevenson at the two position and Noah Valley at the power forward position. They got two weapons and two two-way players, so their defense is going to go up too. So I'm expecting big things out of Charlotte Bobcats this year. And I'm expecting the Charlotte Bobcats to make it out of the first round this year. With Al Jefferson, Len Stevenson, and Kimba Walker improving every year, I'm suspecting this team to make a leap into a top five seed and a first round, getting out the first round. I'm going to end the video right there, bringing down the facts and bringing down what I think I'm going to spit from the Charlotte Bobcast this year. So this is what I got to tell you now. I, I respond, leave comments of your opinion and leave comments in general. I respond to every comment if I need to. And comment if you want to be, make a suggestion of a video I should do. I do listen to your suggestions. I do make the videos. Like the video if, if you enjoyed it. Check out my older videos if you're new to the channel. You like this video. And you want to see some older my older videos, check those out. Those are good videos too. And if you like those videos and you like those videos, hit the subscribe button because that means you fuck with me. And like I said, I'm going to end the video like that with NBA Talk, what to expect, and what is the Charlotte Bobcats next year. Peace.